Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, if you have a Dodge Dart or Chrysler 200, guys, and you're trying to find your radiator fan fuse, we will show you where it's located. It's one of the fuses that's above the battery, guys. So Chrysler 200 and uh, yeah, Chrysler 200 and Dodge Dart, guys, they share the same platform. Many of the components will be the same and interchangeable. I will demonstrate on Dodge Dart 2015 model, but I think it will apply to both vehicles. Always verify with your manual, though. Now. We will show you guys where that radiator fan fuse is located. Uh, this is the main big fuse, guys. You have one little bitty fuse that controls the speed, okay? We have it uh, as well on the channel, check it out. Uh, but this is the main fuse and without that fuse, your fan will not turn on. It's very powerful fuse and uh, we'll show you which one it is. Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including this one here, we make at least 200 videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can or we need in return. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Now, if you need to buy new fuses, replacement parts, anything like that, check out the link in the description of the video below, guys. We will share it for your convenience. So. Now, when you open the hood, guys, okay, doesn't matter which engine you have, I think, even the 2.0 and 1.4, maybe that way as well, you will have your car battery here, you have that box on top, and <coughs> if you open, guys, that box, you're going to find out that you have extra fuses underneath it. Check it out, extra fuses, guys, and this is a big, big fuse right here, mega fuse, okay, that's not what we need. We need, guys, the 60 amp fuse. This 60 amp fuse, guys, it's actually the one, guys, okay, that we need to remove for the radiator fan right here. So, with 8 millimeter socket now, guys, okay, we're going to go ahead, okay, and get that, uh, that uh, uh, these two nuts loose, guys. By getting them loose, we'll be able to remove that fuse. We will show you how to test it as well, because those fuses are really hard to test. Uh, without a without a cheap tool guys i'll show you how because otherwise guys you cannot see okay on the 200 amp you have a little bitty window that tells you if it's burning or not on those you don't so we'll need to apply a special procedure and i'll explain what now one thing i'll recommend disconnect the car battery guys when you replace that fuse we do not have ours disconnected but i'll definitely recommend to uh, disconnect it guys let me get the scanner quick okay the voltmeter here to show you guys okay how to test that fuse okay fuse will come out now okay that's a little bitty thing perfect now if we guys set the voltmeter to test continuity okay let me uh, select okay right there now if we have communication if it's a good fuse it will be like touching these two things together guys you'll make connection listen now now let's check it out okay what will happen with this fuse perfect guys this is a good fuse otherwise it will be like disconnecting it it will not show anything now if your radiator fan still not works you have one little bitty 5 amp fuse we have the video on the channel and we have a video how to test the fan as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching guys and see you guys next time